Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Romeka. Welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing Horizons. Um, oof, today is uh, a day full of choices. What should we do? Well, why don't you start off doing some... So why is the wind so loud? But um, anyway, so we have choices in what we want to do today. But um, anyway, Happy Home Academy doing fine. And Cole's lesser. Um, I have two feet, but I have more than two shoes, and other types of things that go on my feet and legs, it's, it's probably too much for me, so I'm sending some to you, and I only have feet and legs, I've seen them. Your stretchy pal call. Okay, so you got some outfit from... I forgot I got a shark last time. Vivid socks. Um, somehow I don't think I'm going to be able to see those very well. But it, ooh, gamers, wow, this is day, what is going on in here? But um, yeah, we've got like a bunch of different things. Speak of the devil, it is. It, <laughs> damn it, there was a pink mantis. But a vehicle. Hey there, a witch chap. What are you doing? I might copy you. I could be Daniel Jr. for the day. Ah, I, I doubt you'd want to dress up as Sans on the sale. Okay, do you know about Goli? It's one of my favorite reactions. Sandy, I desire you to have left my town two days ago. But, um, hey, I will take the emotion. I believe we've got to wait another week. Until Sandy can be gone forever, out of my life, you know, just into the wild. Um, yeah, luckily I am working on something, and um, again, I think a week should be long enough. I have changed up my plan from getting Raymond, I just decided to, he's not going to be the first villager I get, I'm going to build hype for each new villager, so I want to go for a slightly less popular, but still popular villager I actually find one to my town. Basic. So, um, anyway, one or two balls per turnip, that is not very good. So, yeah, I'm gonna go for another villager. I'm not gonna reveal what it is, but uh, I did run a poll on my Twitter, so hey, there is that. There is that. Now, uh, what should we get rid of? Ski mask, I think we should get rid of. Um, walk chair, monthly statue. Yeah, we'll sell those. And then I wanna try and sell the counterfeits to them, because they've been clogging up my inventory and I'm not sure where to put them. So, beep. And yeah, of course I've got some miles, so why wouldn't I? Right, so of course what exactly are you offering? I am offering two things that I know are fakes. Ah, my apologies, you can't accept any fake works, but please reflect what you'd like to sell. Shh. What's my due to do with that then? Is that... There's no way to throw them out. An emperor brought by how 4,000 I ate. It's better than 3,000 I remembered it being. Ah, oh, damn. I don't know what to do with all this random crap. I just, just want them. I don't. I don't want this hassle. Having these two random paintings in my inventory. Like at least in like Sea Folk and New Leaf, maybe Wild World, definitely GameCube. Before it, you could throw whatever crap you wanted. It's like a dump or a recycling bin. But here, here, it's like now you're, now you're stuck with this. I'm afraid. It's like I, I don't want that. There's like, there's no way to like, I wouldn't say permanently delete items, but like, put items away where eventually they'll be deleted. And, oh, I forgot I did this last time. Huh. Wow, I actually finished the whole section, jeez. I didn't anticipate that. Um, of course there is the, uh, the one yellow rose in there, hour. If I come across any extra red roses which have seemingly bright, then I'll do that. But, um, oh! I was wondering when you'd show up. Uh, there's even a message in a bottle right next to you. Hello, Gordon. Yo, oh, 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 pirate sounds, etc. Uh, Razor Man sale, what do you think I'll say? Anyone seen the Miz and Mercy? Oh, 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 oh. Such a storm. This is it, baby. It's out of the Davis Jones and Shoe Cubby. And I'm assuming this one's going to wake him up. Uh, I don't want to get up my. Let me sail these. Uh, yum, yum, yum. Come on. Iron. There we go. Oh, I'm still saying maybe the end of the lands, but I think I can tap a bit more peach cobble down me go. Where the buffalo go? What trickery is this? Do you even know you listen with Captain Gold? I let you know pirate feared for all manner of dreadful gold gold duggery are. Now, now what's it called? Maybe you cross my buffet bubble. What was ye? Oh, I don't look very cross. Plus, it could do me a favor. I might just go up this whole beach. Ah, I saved me a stomach coin on a Sunday the morning. Beg your pardon from sleepy confusion, you are. I don't have a puff of I can be knocking. I was partaking of a little good old soda with my crew, if you know what I mean. And I stumbled over the car and it's the sea. And I saw me a mild and convenient stuff. Oh, we live in an inn. It might be very cool. It's gonna be trash because I'm gonna shit. There are nights here, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so long as I've got my trusty old communicator, I'll just, uh. Oh my gosh! 
What is this accent? Yeah. Trusty communicator's gone vanish. Ah, these blades don't travel. You can infer the beach. Oh, the, the thing just slipped out of my pocket. Ah, that means I have to also see. I have to find a way to move. Okay, Nate, just find me on the rock. It's going to take quite a bit of time. I'll still workshop and other factors. These are just short and run fast. Yo, hey, you go. That's nice and noggin. We have to find a stranded seabird with the lost communicator. Sure, I'll go for it. <laughs> you already made it. Now, there's, there's a chance of yourself as a jig. Now, if you've got some communicators in the nearby ocean, you should be stores in the ship for your so I should keep a lookout. Got to be online for that, you savvy. Means it's up to you to find out my swimming communicator. I'm counting on you, mate. Now, make sure there's no pockets before you hunt. I should be blundering, you're blundering. That was a very, very awful accent. I'm sorry for any Irish. The IRA. The IRA is going to be breaking down my door, aren't they? Alright, anyway. Um, so. We do have to find Glover. Um, see, I think... Um, I think we're going to have to get it from diving, so... It's an incentive to actually go diving. I'll take it. <laughs> um, so let's dive. Oh, this looks so good with the sands out there. Who knew? But, well, it'd be useful if we got this the first try and I didn't spend the whole episode diving around. Uh, yeah, we're getting quick. Less than two weeks away now from the uh, second summer update. I, I really want to hope that it comes out like August the 1st. Just because I'm really running out of stuff to do here. Yeah, let's give ourselves a little bit of money, I suppose. And yeah, no matter what we find, we can sell it for some cash, do some good, and maybe run into past gallons for still desire. Maybe? Not my fingertips. Thank God he's shown up because I didn't really have that much of an idea of what I actually wanted to do with this episode, so thank you. Alright. Let's just continue, see what we get. Octopus, eh? Hey. Alright, this is. I got an octopus. You can get four hooks at once. Oh. oh that, that, that's something new at the very least. And I like how, like. I'm, I'm, how did I like nook miles for that? I just dove down and then came right back up. Underwater understudy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd assume there's like 40 of these guys, or 50 at most. So, hey, those are some pretty easy miles to get. Yes, what else have I got planned while we uh, go swimming? Um, I've been writing Shemmy 1 review, and I think I'm ready to record the lines for that today. And on top of that, I was um quite busy going and uh, actually replaying. The, what's the replaying? with getting my progress back to where it was. And that's also back, so we, we are like full steam ahead with Shemmy. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do, though. Um, because I know of certain things I mentioned in that, that I need to use other people's footage. And I've got most of the first game. I was contemplating whether I continue the Let's Play and, like, upload it, and then after that, make the review go live. Kind of an, as an after the fact thing. Or I make the review go live and then have the series go live. Um, I think it'd be good, but then I have to mismatch a bunch of other people's footage as well. So, it's kind of messy in that sense, and I really don't think I've got the room for another series on top of what we're already doing. Like, some days I wouldn't say I'm doubling up per se, but I'm saying there's like... I'm not sure how to describe it, there's like days where I can upload one or the other. Um, I, I know the first one was like GTA New Horizons, and the joke was, it's always going to be New Horizons, except for the one time in the month when it was GTA. Um, watch out for that. I really do want to record another episode of that. Um, I just need to think of something to get done. So, ah, ha, ha, ha. You found it yet. <laughs> yeah. Back in speaking yeah. in Ireland. I I have to make precious communicator. Thank you. With all my heart, matey. The next cherries on top even now can contact me faithful crew. Give us a little bit of sea bugs, me beloved captain to make two things happen to him. Have another bad spill, so you best change your course and come pick me up, help me make coordinates. You can come out our own book, he swashes for good. So that's this Captain Gulliver. Yeah. <laughs> Ha 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 You saved me a life, that's a dead and easy pain, so I'll ship you a fine reward soon. Expedite! Thanks a lot, nothing else to do. One of this here beach and look me in here. I oh, are. It's an interesting character. That's, yeah, so that's Gorthar. Um, I was wondering why I'd run into him. Um, hey, hey, right, new book, new book, new book, new book. Whack! Got a rise, bro. That's not. Interesting. Well, we do need to make a trip to the museum. You got a, a little bit of stuff that needs doing. Well, only, only a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm still trying to figure out what is in the summer update, though. So, uh, 
So I know this one was really small. I hope the next one's massive. Like, you, like they could announce. Why am I here? Oh yeah, no, not shopping. Um, like they could announce, say whatever. As long as like eventually they update the villager dialogue, preferably soon, I'm fine with it. Because right now it's so boring. There's like no variety in the stuff that they actually ask you. Hey, you can actually buy them for bells here. Cool. Anyway, peep. Uh, how's everything else looking? Yeah, it's boring. And of course, we're gonna check the fencing options because we can. Yeah, but as I was touching on before, just because the command's topical in this whole thing. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the uh, possibility of getting a semi popular villager. Again, it was a Twitter poll, so if you uh, were the ones that voted on a certain cat, then you'll know. But yeah, we're not getting Raymond as my next villager. As good as that is, uh, that's like. I'd say he's like maybe the one after this person. Maybe. Again, I just want to have him in my town, because uh, then I can do the whole song King on Lookers on uh, episode. It's a movie you may be like, well, wait, that's like mean. Why can't you just give him away for free? You could have given him to me, and it's like, hey. Okay, if you, if you follow me on Twitter, I'll announce when I've listed him on Lookers on, and I'll be watching the chaos and fall over there. And hey, you could you could go on Lookers on yourself. Hey, um. Hey, and there are a few comments, and I know these people don't watch the channel all that much. Um, some of the comments I got on these videos are genuinely so annoying. Um, like, I'm not talking about those, uh, like, you know, actually decent communications, but um, I was reading through Village Hunting, these comments again, just because, like, um, it came up in my recommended. I get, I get way too many of, like, my own videos are recommended now. It is surreal. But, um, yeah, so, anyway, um, I was reading Village Hunter comments, and I got one person, and it's like, I don't know how old you are, but I can tell you're five. It was like, oh my god, you gave up Marina, and because I personally like Marina, OMG, I'm not watching. And it's like, good grief, when did I start attracting five-year-olds? It's like, hey, I know that I know this game's got a wide appeal. I think that was the first time I had a comment, and I genuinely read it, I was like, what the fuck? It's like, yeah, I know, I know they were young. It's, it's, I, I genuinely just had to bring them up. It, keep, it keeps laying on my mind every so often. It's like, yeah. Anyway, I spent a decent amount of time yesterday also working on the uh, Skywalk episode that you saw go out. Um, I don't feel a little bit in depth about that because I, I'm very proud of how that turned out. And I also think it's kind of interesting. So, first things first, um, it was the preparation that actually went involved. Um, Wyatt's told me not to log on to Skywalk. So, um,. That really makes me want to go and walk on. Um, but uh, he's apparently planning to do something before next week, which kind of sucks from my perspective, because I was also doing some off-camera stuff. But I mean, it's something that's gone online, so I can't. But um, that Skywalk episode was like, I, I want to say it was like a crowning jewel of my content, but it was a pretty good video. It was long, I was able to put it down. It wasn't like heavily edited or anything, but um, now what it was, it was just a video. It was just a video. Um, the thing, thing I was proud of is A, I actually prepared this beforehand and it paid off. That's like the one thing I was like, hell yeah, did it. But um, but yeah, there's another part, I'm um, fair, fair brain's failing, but um, the thumbnail. Um, so again, I chance is R if you sulked, you may have seen that thumbnail in your sub box and thought nothing of it. However, that thing was almost made entirely in Cinema 4D. Um, besides, like, the logo, the text, and the number I know we put on, the whole image of, like, um, Wyatt, the Wall of Melons, and me was, um, actually the first time I've ever tried anything like that. Um, in not just Cinema 4D, but ever. And it is really weird, because I have, like, some props left over from just doing the character poses. Um, so I just kind of, like, right, um, I have the melon block in this pack. It doesn't have every item, so I was really lucky to get that. And I, I just, like, got... I think I've got my melons made a wall, and then selected it all, and copied and pasted it. Um, which gonna be right on my alley of doing things. But, um, yeah, so I, like, made two walls, and I kind of made them, like, insects at a right angle. And then I put white in the middle, kind of looking confused, like, okay, there's melons here. And, like, it kind of gives the illusion there's a wall, and it's not, it's like, that's fun facts. I know, my main's running too fast, um. I was always told I speak too fast or write too messily because I have too much stuff running through in my head, and I think they had a point. Um, but, yeah, so it kind of gives the illusion that he's surrounded by melons, and then you've got me peeking over the top. Um, the, me peeking over the top was the hardest part, so I wanted to make it, like, innocently creepy. Which was, like, really hard, but 
I'm really proud of it. Um, the white room wasn't really working with me that day. Uh, or yesterday. But yeah, I'm, I'm super proud of how that football turned out. Definitely first. May, may try it out again in the future, just because I'm not sure, like, how much that actually garnered interest. I know having, like, unique thumbnails and whatnot is kind of like, okay, it's all there, but um, we're sitting on uh, four views. It's not, we've not even hit peak time yet. Um, normally my peak time is 11pm, and that went up at midnight. Um, there's, like, a sharp amount of people that watch uh, one last video before bed and then cut off. So hopefully, ideally, as the afternoon goes on, it's only three right now. Um, it'll shoot some views. And yeah, we've been doing good though in views recently. All the videos have been breaking at ten. Uh, getting very close. Uh, it's weird to see a Virtuous Last World video with um, not not one view. <laughs> like got a decent amount of views. I think it's because I'm nearing the finale. But it's like I know obviously I think the channel's really changed for the better since uh, this whole walk down thing began. So yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's been supporting any series on this channel. Oh uh, yeah, we've been doing so good. Um, I know all of you are raking for more City Folk content. Um, there is a little bit of a problem with my Wii U. Um, I touched on it briefly in the last episode, I think, where it was super hard to get it to capture. But some days it's just not down to do it. So, um, sorry if it's not exactly coming out on Sunday. I'm just going to try and get those out when I can. Um, yeah. I'm thinking because I'm a day behind, I might just ditch City Folk and try and get that Shenmue review out as a double upload one day. Again, um, according to the lines of that, it's going to be nowhere as taxing as uh, the uh, Sonic Unleashed one was. Believe me, it's a lot shorter. But, um, yeah, the call was up here. Uh, yeah, actually, I need to take a look at my map. Um, who do I want to move out the most now? It's like it's like a three-way tie between Kid, Brocol, and the Sandy. Like these three, I never interact with. Roll find don't talk to that much, but I like the idea of him just being a grumpy old man off in his bamboo. But uh, yeah, so that is the uh, thought process. Hopefully, um, even if you're interested in the game Shemu, hopefully any of you watching this may, uh, when it comes out, actually check out the review. Um, it's a really interesting game. Uh, just like kind of what it did. Um, all the games like GTA and whatnot kind of only exist because that game exists. At least that's how I've always viewed it. Viewed it, viewed it, viewed it yeah. My, my speech is like 100 up in it. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm just looking at my watch page and goddamn it, this channel is alive as hell. Um, would you be hitting 400 by uh, in two weeks? Um, I've, I've started using Social Blade projections and uh, <laughs> I started testing out the uh, schedule tweet feature on Twitter recently. And I think the most notable one I've done as of late. It's a, that looks like a new book. Yeah. But um, yeah, I started testing the uh, schedule tweet feature. And uh, so the first thing I did is I got a very confusing video. Um, which, which, it would be confusing even if you had context or not. And I scheduled it to go five hours from when I uh, like originally wrote it. And it was like, hopefully I remember this, this is scheduled. Didn't. And uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, a very confusing video to start my Twitter timeline. I'm sure some of you may have some like fake recollection of that happening. And the second one I did is I took the social boy projection for when I was due to hit a thousand subs and put that on there. That was due to like go up April sometime next year. And like it's still at the front of my mind now, but give it like a couple months and it'll like fade. And then some like maybe someone will like it. Like it'll just be like ding, someone likes this tweet which has gone out and I'll be like, hey, I don't remember writing that in bed. Oh, I scheduled that all the way back in July in June. Oh, so if you're able to hit a thousand subs, that would be crazy. Um, because I keep saying this, but right now, um, the best way I can think of it is that this channel's kind of, you know the first week in this game where you don't have the town hall and there's very limited options for what you can do? Um, that's me before getting a thousand subs. Um, because I don't earn money. And while money wouldn't necessarily be a driving factor for me to make these, I need 700 of them, these things for free. Um, I just make them because I find it fun, it's a cool way to pass the time. But, um, actually having ads on your videos, well, uh, it, seriously, it helps like more than you can imagine. Because, we got to think of, YouTube isn't making a single penny off any of my videos. They may make, like, maybe 5p, collectively, after ones that are copyright claimed. But, uh, 
yeah, if I was to monetize my videos, um, A, chances are I'm not going to be demonetized that much because it's gaming, it's not like I'm talking about the greatest and greatest, greatest uh, shall we say, kill streak feeds in Modern Warfare, um, ultra high settings, you know? I, I ain't doing stuff like that, I'm playing Animal Crossing in my spare time most of the time. But, um, yeah, so I'm being monetized. And you should see that and like, hey, we, we take money from people that are monetized, so we should send him to things more. And I always think that once you break a thousand subs, you really have the potential to go somewhere, as long as you keep that momentum. And I've got that, I've got the initial momentum here, right here on my fingers, it's like, I shall check here. Then, I've got that daily uploading thing going on with the algorithm, and uh, it's eating that up like crazy. And it still is, it's kind of died down slightly over the hype around New Horizons and stuff, but still going, still going. And uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I won't punch the punching bag. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I've got that. I've got the boost of my daily uploading. Now I've just got to get the boost from being monetized. Um, yeah. So, hey, help us hit a thousand subs. Be sure to like and do all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, hey, Rold, how you doing? Ah, yeah, nice of you to stop by. How you been? I haven't been dodging you, right? Not you could. I may be slow, but I'm not slow, buddy. Yeah. I love the way the villagers look in this, but there's just not that many lines. Uh, what did we actually do today? We gave Gore a, a phone. I caught some bugs. Pretty chill that episode, actually. <laughs> no renovation, just kind of chilling on a middle of the summer afternoon. I'll tell you, summer is hitting me hard over here. Um, next time I'm probably going to shake things up. And by shake things up, I mean I'm going to make this path. Finally. Um, I'm not sure where it's going to connect to. Um, it's probably just going to be like straight up here. I want to say it kind of maybe comes like to the right and in through here. Hey, again, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Uh, interesting episode. So I say interesting. Nothing happened. Nothing much. Yeah. Um. So we'll continue <laughs> renovating next time, and that's all gonna be fine and dandy. Do not fear. And uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed this, then be sure to leave a thumbs up, possibly subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment down below. With all that said, and all that side, watching guys, mine's been Ramek and Peace, and...